channel. So today's video is going to be a tag video, as you can tell by the title. This tag was actually created by Shay, and she tagged me in it. So I'm really excited to finally get around to doing it. Um, I thought it'd be fun to kind of talk about some bags that I didn't buy and why. Um, every one of these bags, I was certain I was going to add to my collection, and then I went and saw them in person. And for one, re one reason or another, they just didn't work out for me. Um, with that said, if you own any of these bags or are interested in getting any of these bags, um, please don't be offended. They, these just didn't work out specifically for me. I still think every single one of these bags are gorgeous and beautiful bags and totally worth a per, you know purchasing if that's something that works out for you. They're just specific reasons why they didn't work out for me and I'll talk about that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first bag that honestly I was really disappointed that it didn't work out for me because I was certain that it was going to be my first Chanel bag and it is the Chanel walk and I had already planned on getting it I was gonna get the Chanel walk the black caviar gold hardware I had already planned on getting it and I planned it kind of in my head for quite a while I'd watched videos on it and everything like that I'd never gone to see it in person because I just didn't think I needed to I figured you know what no this is gonna be the bag for me I know I'm gonna love it and then finally whenever it came time to purchase it I went ahead and went up to the boutique and checked it out in person and I just was underwhelmed. Um, the size was a lot smaller than I was expecting. The chain was way too long for me um, and I just, I just, it just didn't do it for me if that makes sense. It's still a gorgeous bag. I love the simplicity of it. I love even the size, even though size wise that was one of my cons because it didn't fit all of my necessities, my six ring key holder, my phone, you know, all that stuff. Could I put it in there? Could I make it work? I probably could, but I didn't like that it felt just overpacked if that makes sense I didn't like that feeling so um, that coupled with the fact that the chain was a little bit long for my body frame I'm five foot two I decided to pass and then what I ended up purchasing instead was the Chanel mini square same black caviar with gold hardware and honestly I'm really really happy with the purchase this fits my bare necessities much more conveniently than I felt the walk did and the chain is a lot shorter than the walk and I I just I really really love this bag and I'm glad that I ended up you know kind of going to see that bag there was actually a point where I thought you know what I'm gonna go in and buy it anyway and I'm glad that I didn't and I'm, I'm glad that I went ahead and got this one instead so I do love both the Chanel walk but I'm really happy that I went with this one instead you can see size wise it just is a little bit more forgiving than the walk is it's a lot uh, deeper I guess so I just feel like the pieces especially the six ring key holder just fit in there a lot nicer it also has a little zip pocket and a little slip pocket in the back as well so I'm really happy with this purchase and I'm really glad that I went ahead and decided to get this there was a possibility I was gonna order the walk pre-loved and I'm glad that I didn't I'm glad that I went to go see it in person so like I said if you're in the market for the walk and it didn't work out for you check out one of the minis I really like the square mini I do plan on getting a rectangular mini as well because I don't know why I just really like the Chanel mini bags I, I don't know why but I just really do so yes I've been really really happy with getting this instead of the Chanel wall and the next bag that I was also certain that I was going to be adding to my collection was the YSL walk. Once I realized that the Chanel walk didn't work out for me, I figured I'll go ahead and get the YSL walk instead. I really wanted to add a walk to my collection, as you can tell. Um, so I went and saw it in person and again, underwhelmed. Lengthwise, it was a lot better for me. It did fit a lot better crossbody on my, my 5'2 frame, but size-wise, it just wasn't doing it for me. I just even though my things fit in there again I just felt that it felt over packed and I just wasn't happy with that um, it also held just basically the necessities it had a divider in the center which personally I felt like it should have been removable you like you should be able to remove it if that would have been removable it would have been perfect for me but unfortunately size wise I just didn't feel like it fit everything with me. And the main the main issue is my six ring key holder because I have a really, really big fob in there. And so it makes my six ring key holder pretty big. And so that's kind of where the problem is. But what I ended up getting instead is the medium sized Kate bag. And of course I got in this beautiful nude color with gold, gold hardware. And I'm really happy with this bag. It of course fits a lot more. It is substantially bigger but then again not really because I still consider this definitely a mini bag size wise you can see um, 
the inside is more of just one open pocket and then it has a slip pocket in the back so this fits everything that i needed to fit for whether it's just i want to wear carry a mini bag that particular day or i'm going out for dinner going out for drinks whatever things like that it's literally the perfect bag it looks a little bit more a little, little bit bigger size wise like if you look at it compared to this bag it looks much bigger but because of the way that this one goes in on the sides and it's a little bit stiffer it doesn't fit as much as it looks like but I love both of these bags and I think I just realized through trying to purchase both of these walks from Chanel as well as YSL I just don't think that a walk is for me unfortunately I was really excited to add a walk to my collection and I just don't think a walk in general is just the right fit for me which is fine but it is what it is, right? And the next bag that I wanted to talk to you about is actually kind of two bags because I really wasn't sure which one I was gonna get. It's more like a bag style, I guess you could say. And the bag style that I had really, really considered adding to my collection about a year ago was a hobo bag and I couldn't decide between the delightful or the artsy and I, I think both of them are gorgeous bags I, especially the artsy it's so so beautiful um, but I also love just I love the sag of the the delightful so both of them were beautiful I said to myself I do not have a hobo in my collection I want to at least add one hobo to my collection just to have that style in my collection and then I just I I went to the store, I went ahead and played around with them. I just realized that the hobo style just wasn't meant for me. Um, even though I love the way the hobo, especially these two bags, look on other people, I just didn't find that they were right for me. I felt like the, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like I gravitate more towards a structured bag, um, anywhere from semi-structured to extremely structured. And I felt like the hobo, just the style wasn't necessarily right for me. However, if you are looking for a hobo, I do think both of those bags are gorgeous and I highly recommend them if you're a hobo type of person. Um, I do think that the artsy was a little bit too big on my frame. It wasn't the artsy and it wasn't the delightful. It was the style. The bags are beautiful. They just didn't work out for me because I'm just not a hobo girl and I realized that whenever I try. And the next bag is from Celine and I've been wanting to add a bag from Celine to my collection for a while and I was so excited. I really, really wanted this bag. I think it is one of the most beautiful bags that is available right now. It's stunning and it is the Celine Phantom bag. I love it. I love it. I was going to get it in more of a neutral color, of course, because that's just what I do. A gray, a tan, a beige, a camel, something like that. I wasn't really sure, but either way, I still am obsessed with the look of this bag. Um, I went to go see it in person and I felt even more in love with it when I saw it in person, but the second I put it against my body, it felt massive. It felt so big. like. Bit, like huge and it just didn't look right on me and I am one to say that it doesn't I, I believe that you can get any size bag that you want but you have to like it but I didn't like it on my body frame it felt it was too deep the width was perfect but the depth was really it really came off of my body quite a bit when I was carrying it like this it just felt too deep to me I also didn't like that I could see that because of the depth, it was going to create a seam down the middle, almost like a crease in the leather, and I didn't like that either. And so even though I still, still think that that is one of the most gorgeous bags that's available on the market, um, the size is just way too overpowering for my body. And even though sometimes people say that about the Neverfull, um, I think the Neverfull is flattering on any body frame because it's not so deep. But I do think whenever a bag is that deep, I do think that sometimes you have to just, it has to work for you and you have to like it on your body frame. And I didn't like it on my body frame, so it didn't work out for me. But I decided that I'm pretty sure I either want to get the Celine luggage bag in the mini size or the Celine belt bag I think I kind of like the tie bag too so I'm not sure but I do want to add a sling bag to my collection I just still don't 100% know which one I'm kind of like leaning towards the the luggage mini but I love the belt and I love the tie bag as well I don't know I love the, all three of them but I would say that my order my fate my, my order is luggage tie 
then belt is probably the order in which I like the Celine bags, at least right now. At least right now, as I film this video, that is the order in which I like the sling bag. So yeah, the Phantom didn't work out for me, but I still think it's beautiful. I really truly do think it's one of the most beautiful bags that's in the market right now. And the last bag that I feel like everybody has, it's so popular because it's so beautiful, so I get it. I understand the hype, and I don't know why, but I went and saw it in person, and I just couldn't pull the trigger. And on this bag, I can't give you any specific reasons. Um, of why because there's no features about the bag that I do not like there's nothing about the bag that I do not like I just can't make the purchase and it is the Gucci Marmont like flap bag shoulder bag they're all kind of called the same so I'm not sure but of course I'll put a picture um, and I want it in that blushy kind of nude color with the gold hardware it is so beautiful the only thing that I can think of of why I haven't pulled the trigger and I'm not sure if I can pull the trigger is because of every single time I've ever bought a Gucci bag, every single time in the past I've ever bought a Gucci bag or asked for a Gucci bag as a gift, um, about after using it for about a year or so, it felt dated to me. Um, it just felt dated. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily going to be the case with Marmont because I don't think that's actually going to be the case with Marmont. But because I have that taste in my mouth from the bags from Gucci that I purchased in the past, I am very hesitant to pull the trigger on a Gucci bag. And I'm just being honest with you guys. That's just how I feel. I love what Gucci is doing. I am obsessed with Marmont in general. I have a Gucci a belt and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so it has nothing to do with look wise. Look wise, I love the bags, especially like the shoulder bag, the, the smaller like camera bags. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. But because I have that taste in my mouth of the fact that every single Gucci bag I've owned in the past felt really dated pretty quickly um, and when I went to go resell it I got a fraction of the price for it of what was paid for it I am just really reluctant to buy and it, it's just it's kind of like whenever you have a bad experience you you just you can't do it again right and that's kind of how I feel not that I don't love Gucci not that I don't love what they're doing and not that I don't think all the Marmont bags are gorgeous because they are they're beautiful they're stunning and I do I love them so much I do but it's because of that like past experience I have a little bit of hesitation so yes I love the bag I think it's beautiful it is probably one of the bags that I think about most, if that makes sense, like I think about it quite often, but I just can't do it. I don't know why. Well, I've told you why. So those are the bags that I wanted to add to my collection and just didn't work out for me. Um, like I said before, if you have any of these bags or you're looking to get any of these bags, um, please don't let this change your mind. These are just reasons that they didn't work out for me specifically. I still think that all of these bags are gorgeous and every time I see them, I love them and it's something that I I look at and I think they're beautiful. They just don't work out for me specifically. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was kind of fun to let you guys know why I hadn't purchased some of the bags that I've looked at or maybe talked about getting. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.